welcome back to the channel um me and nick and dylan we kind of went off the wall and we we bought something we all bought a bus and we're going to make it the outdoor high life bus so i would love to hear input from you guys we haven't touched this thing yet we just got it i got it off a of public auction and it's a 42 passenger short bus and i just we, we like i said we haven't touched it at all we're gonna document the entire process of exactly what we did, how we did it, when we did it. And it would be cool to get input from you guys if you wanna leave some comments on color, because we have no idea about color on, on, on the way it looks on the inside. Do we put a bathroom? Do we not put a bathroom? I mean, all that stuff, we haven't even thought about it. All I can tell you is we bought a bus and we'd love your input. So hang around, let me show you the bus. All right guys, come here, check it out. This is a 42 passenger handicap bus. It's got a handicap big door on the back, which I like. We wanted something a little bit shorter because of course the bigger bus, the more it's gonna cost and we're not rich. So uh, come check it out. It's a, it's a international. It's got a 466T in it. We're gonna put logos on it. We're gonna repaint it and I mean, everything works on it. Every light works on it. There's no problem with the engine, and uh, it's it's a pretty slick deal. Oh. It's just, it, overall, the condition is excellent. There's not a whole lot of paint missing. A couple small dents and scratches on it. But other than that, got decent, decent tires on it. Uh, air conditioner works great. The heater works great. Uh, it, it everything just everything works perfectly on it and it's kind of one of those deals when you when you do go buy something like this at an auction site you have no idea what you're getting your hands on and i really feel like we got a deal and we i feel like we stole this thing and we're just so excited to uh to get this started i think the first thing that we'll be doing is we'll be taking all these stickers off of course the stickers already come off the side there but all these little reflectors will come off the stop sign will come off and then once we get that done, we'll be on the inside working on the seats. We'll get all the seats done. Um, and then we'll put flooring in. But I think after the flooring goes in, we're gonna paint this sucker. But we still don't know what color to paint it. I think we're kind of leaning to like maybe a desert tan or like an army green, but we'd love to hear back from you guys what color we ought to paint this outdoor high life bus. But uh, it would be cool to get everybody's input and uh, see what we come up with. But uh, on the back back here i'd like to show you on the back of the bumper i'll take this bumper off we're going to extend this bumper about four feet uh the reason i want to extend it four feet because i want to put a generator on one side and i'm going to put a mini split unit on the other side and then probably between this two or in front or behind the two we'll have a rack that goes up to the top because we want to we want to build a storage rack on top so that's something that that's that's a big big deal you know taking the bumper off and getting some iron to weld in there and getting it just right but uh i know we can get it done uh but i think that would be cool to put the generator on one side the mini split with a ladder going up to our new rack on top i think a rack on top with some solar panels would be pretty cool when i when we when we, when we learned about the bus you know when me and nick and dylan got together we said you know what let's what what about if we go on a public surplus auction and try to find a bus so that's what we did um neither of us none of us have cdls but we can turn this thing into an rv to where you don't have to have a cdl to drive it so it's not tagged yet it's not i mean there's not there's nothing in here everything just looks like when we drove it off today basically going to show i'm going to show you guys 
at the DMV, like what you got to have in Oklahoma, because I know states are all the states are different, but in Oklahoma, I've heard from three or four different people right now that you've got uh, you got to have a bathroom, you got to have a sink, and then I got some people saying, well, you don't have to have all that, but I'm going to show you that process step by step and what I had to do and what we had to do to make this into an RV. But uh, come on inside, and let me show you the inside. We've got interior right here. All the buttons still work. Uh, fans are, the fans all still work. Like I said, the air conditioner still works. Uh, it's a flat nose, so the motor sits right here in the front, which I like. Uh, it's 42 passenger. It's a nine window. So I guess they use this, they use this, you know, for the special needs buster. That's what it was. It had the big, it has the big lift back here. The lift still works. The lift's like brand new, which is pretty cool. We're trying to think of maybe how to get that into our bus to use it. You know, we, we're, we're just kind of bouncing on ideas. So if you got an idea, if we should keep this and how to use it, let us know in the comments. Uh, two wheelchairs, wheelchair could go here, wheelchair could go there. Of course, we're gonna come and get all these seats out. But first thing that we're gonna do is get these seats out and get everything stripped off on the side to get it ready to paint. And uh, guess who's painting it? We are. And I don't know what this, it may look like a turd by the time we get done painting. I don't know, I'm not a painter. Uh, I'm not a carpenter, but we're gonna make it look cool. We're gonna paint it ourselves. We're probably gonna put the decals on. We'll probably paint the decals ourselves. I'm thinking about maybe getting my projector out and projecting some cool scene. Um, we're gonna put outdoor high life all over it. So that way whenever you guys see us coming down the road, you'll know who it is But uh, we got four fender wheels that we got to work work around um, Got two fender wheels up there two fender wheels in the back Usually what we'll do like right here in this space. I got a fender wheel right here And I'll probably put in a kitchen sink or something like that and the fender wheel in the back We'll probably put in a couch and then probably put in another couch right here over this fender wheel and that fender wheel in the very back other corner We'll probably put some kind of closet to put all of our hunting gear and stuff like that. Other than that, we kind of, me and Nick and Dylan talked about, it, we kind of just make it, we're kind of wanting to make it just like a, a big living room. You know, living room with a sink on one side, a closet on the other, and everything else is a living room. And we're thinking about maybe probably hosting a bunch of podcasts. If we can make this our podcast bus, I think that would be pretty cool, especially when we go to places. If somebody wants to jump in we got all of our podcast gear we can come and talk about whatever we want to talk about so i think that'd be pretty cool to implement in the bus is make it a podcast bus as well we're still debating about a mini stove i think it'd be cool to have a mini stove in here uh just for the ambience i know we're going to have a mini split i'm going to possibly put solar on top of it i think that would be good especially if we go to the mountains and elk hunt you could we could have our solar and we could basically don't have to plug in or anything but uh Overall, man, I think this bus is killer. I mean, it seems to be in excellent shape. I think we'll have it forever. Uh, and like I said, we're gonna document every bit of the process, what we do, that way we can share it with you guys and we can get some feedback. But uh, overall, it's, it's, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be exciting. There'll be a lot of bleeps out probably from YouTube because I'm not a carpenter and uh, and that's just the way it is. So uh, if you hear a little beep, it's just me letting off a little steam when we go in here to start working on this thing. But uh, I hope you guys follow this because we're gonna document everything. We're gonna, it's gonna be a series. We don't know what the series is gonna be called yet, but it's gonna be an awesome project. We'd love to hear input back from you guys and hopefully one day we're driving this thing down the road and, and you can holler at us and uh, you know it's us when we're coming down the road. But uh, yes. Hopefully this next video will be coming out pretty soon. Hope, hopefully you'll follow along on this uh, experience that we're about to have with all of us. And uh, we're going to make this a cool bus. But uh, let's get going.